coverage now. We're in the race with the new Omicron variant, which is rapidly spreading. COVID outbreaks, those are back with some vaccinated people getting infected. News 2's Gerald Harris spoke to local doctors as we brace for a possible surge. The virus is going to keep mutating and new variants are going to keep popping up. The Omicron variant is in Tennessee with two cases confirmed in Shelby County. The Omicron variant has a spike protein that's really, really different from all the ones that we've seen before. And it looks like those changes in that protein make it more likely to cause infection, but more importantly, makes it less likely that the antibodies that the vaccines generate are going to bind to it. In Tennessee, hospitals are seeing firsthand the impact of the unvaccinated. Ballot Health in East Tennessee reports 245 people there are hospitalized with COVID, with 222 of them unvaccinated. It is not a surprise that most people who are getting sick, really sick, and who are dying or being hospitalized are unvaccinated because they have no, there's no protection against the virus that we've never seen before. Meharry Medical College President and CEO Dr. James Hildreth took to Twitter recommending adjustments to cloth mask wearers as Omicron seems considerably more transmissible. I strongly recommend that people put a procedure mask under their cloth mask just to achieve the best level of protection. And according to health experts, boosters offer significant protection against the Omicron variant. The first thing and single most important thing is to go get a vaccine if you don't have one and do the whole series, get the first shot, the second shot, wait um, six months or the recommended time and get a booster. In Nashville, I'm Gerald Harris. Now, doctors say it's still early, but they do believe the Omicron variant could spread more easily, but that doesn't mean it would make people, make people sicker than the other variants we've seen before.